Hey friends, my name is Steve Guttenberg, and I am the Audiophiliac, and my wife knows that I am obsessed with sound. So on Friday in the New York Times, she pointed out to this, pointed out this giant ear, actually a, a pair of ears, there you go, right? And uh, it didn't say exactly what it was, but on the other side of the page here, it said this, listen to the world, got, got our attention. And then in the New York Times Sunday Magazine for September 23rd, 2018, came this. It's a photo essay with uh, lots and lots and lots of very pretty, very Photoshop pictures. That's good. But what about the listening to the world part? More, more pictures. I'm going to get to the listening part soon, like so. Um, so. Here's a picture of wind turbines. So most people don't get to hear wind turbines, these giant things in the middle of the ocean. But thanks to technology, now you can. So anyway, uh, there's a link on their website to listen to the world, and you can hear the water moving and wind turbines and lava flows and underwater sounds of fish. All kinds of really cool stuff. Some of it's done better fidelity-wise than others. And there's a lot of talking and narration to explain what's going on, which is useful, but it does cover up the sound, which is the main reason that I was there. It's, it's well worth your time. It takes about 30 minutes if you watch the whole thing, but you can skip ahead through it. Um, they recommend listening on headphones. I tried it on headphones. I preferred it on speakers. I was using Atom Audio F5 desktop speakers, and I was using uh, Hi-Fi Man, Amanda, Amanda? No, Sosfera headphones. Um, but anyway, I'll link to the website where you can hear it for yourself and see the pictures for yourself. So even if you don't have the New York Times paper version, you can see the pictures on the essay. Basically, it's a photo oral essay. Anyway, check it out. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.